good afternoon students so in the last class uh, we have completed differential equations so today we are going to start with probability and in today's class we'll solve some ncert exemplar problems in that the first question it is if p of a intersection b equal to 7 by 10 and p of b equal to 17 by 20 then p of a by b equals the four options are 14 by 17 17 by 20 then 7 by 8 and the last option it is 1 by 8 so let us solve this so here he has given p of a intersection b which is equals to 7 by 10 and then he has given p of b which is equals to 17 divided by 20 so now p of a by b which is equals to p of a intersection b then divided by p of b so now substitute the values p of a by b which is equals to what is p of a intersection b now it is 7 by 10 7 by 10 then whole divided by 17 by 20 so if we simplify this further it becomes p of a by b which is equals to 7 by 10 i write it as it is then this can be written as 20 by 17 so 10 ones are 10 twos are p of a by b which is equals to 7 into 2 it is 14 divided by 17 hence the answer is option ye yeah, so this is all about the first question of exemplar problem well the next question it is if p of a equal to 3 by 10 p of b equal to 2 by 5 and p of a union b equal to 3 by 5 then p of b by a plus p of a by b equals the four options are 1 by 4 1 by 3 5 by 2 5 by 12 and then 7 by 12 so we'll solve this particular problem so here in order to get p of b by a and p of a by b first we have to calculate p of a intersection b so i will find p of a intersection b now p of a intersection b which is equals to so what is the formula p of a p of a plus p of b then minus p of a union b p of a union b so now what is p of a here 3 by 10 plus p of b it is 2 by 5 then minus p of a union b will be 3 by 5 so now simplify this the lcm will be 10 we get 3 here plus 4 here and then minus 6 here we get 1 by Then, so this is the value of p of a intersection b. Now we, I have to go for. Therefore, p of b by a plus p of a by b, which is equal to what is p of b by a? It is p of a intersection b divided by p of a. Then plus plus p of a by b will be p of a intersection b. then divided by p of b so now substitute the values p of a intersection b will be 1 by 10 then whole divided by p of a that is 3 by 10 plus p of a intersection b it is 1 by 10 then whole divided by p of b that will be 2 by 5 so simplify this 1 by 10 into 10 by 3 plus 1 by 10 into this becomes 5 by 2 so 10 and 10 get cancels 5 ones are 5 twos are so here we have 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 the lcm of 3 and 4 will be 12 3 4 za 4 3 za that will be 7 the numerator it is 7 so the correct answer it is option d so this is all about the second question well uh, let us solve the third question 
the question is if a and b are two events such that p of a equal to 1 by 2 comma p of b equal to 1 by 3 p of a by b equal to 1 by 4 then p of a dash intersection b dash equals the four options are 1 by 12 3 by 4 1 by 4 3 by 16 so in order to get the value of p of a dash intersection b dash first we have to calculate p of a intersection b and p of a union b so i'll go for p of a intersection b which is equals to p of a by b into p of b into p of b what is p of a by b now it is 1 by 4 into p of b it is 1 by 3 this is equals to 1 divided by 12 so now by making use of this we have to get the value of p of a union b this implies p of a union b which is equals to p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b what is p of a it is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 divided by 12 so this is equals to the lcm of these three terms will be 12 so it is 6 plus 4 minus 1 so 6 plus 4 it is 10 10 minus 1 it is 9 9 divided by 12 so these two get cancelled in three table we get 3 by 4 so now i will go for p of a dash intersection b dash and therefore p of a dash intersection b dash which is equals to this can be written as p of a union b the whole dash p of a union b the whole dash which is equals to 1 minus 1 minus p of a union b so this is equals to 1 minus p of a union b what is p of a union b it is 3 by 4 so i write 3 by 4 simplify this 4 minus 3 it is 1 divided by 4 so this is the required value of p of a dash intersection b dash hence the answer is option c so this is all about the third question the next question it is you are given that a and b are two events such that p of b equal to 3 by 5 p of a by b equal to 1 by 2 and p of a union b equal to 4 by 5 then p of a equals the four options are 3 by 10 1 by 5 1 by 2 3 by 5 so in order to get the value of p of a first we will calculate p of a intersection b p of a intersection b which is equals to p of a by b p of a by b into p of b p of a by b into p of b which is equals to what is p of a by b here it is 1 by 2 into p of b it is 3 by 5 so this will be 3 divided by 10 now we will have to go for p of a union b p of a union b which is equals to which is equals to p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b so it is p of a union b now so p of a union b it is 4 divided by 5 which is equals to p of a p of a it is we have to calculate p of a write it as it is plus p of b it is 3 by 5 then minus p of a intersection b will be 3 divided by 10 3 by 10 this implies p of a which is equals to p of a which is equals to 4 by 5 minus 3 by 5 plus 3 by 10 so p of a which is equals to the lcm of 5 and 10 will be 10 so we get 8 minus 6 plus 3 so now 8 minus 6 it is 2 2 plus 3 it is 5 
5 by 10 will be 1 by 2. Hence, the correct answer it is option C. So, this is all about the fourth question. Well, the next question it is if A and B are two independent events with P of A equal to 3 by 5 and P of B equal to 4 by 9, then P of A dash intersection B dash equals the first option it is 4 by 15, second option it is 8 by 45, third option it is 1 by 3, fourth option it is 2 by 9. So, here he is clearly given that A and B are independent events. Therefore, P of A intersection B which is equals to which is equals to P of A which is equals to P of A into P of B because A and B are independent events. So, substitute the value of P of A now 3 by 5 into 4 by 9. So, here 3 ones are 3, 3 is a, so 4 divided by 15. So, we have got the value of P of A intersection B. Now, I will go for now P of A union B which is equals to, so P of A it is 3 by 5 plus P of B it is 4 by 9 then minus P of A intersection b so that will be 4 divided by 15 so simplify this now p of a union b this is equals to the lcm of 5 9 and 15 will be 45 so here we get 27 plus 20 minus 12 so how much we get now so we get 7 divided by we get 7 by 9 so if we simplify this we get 7 by 9 therefore therefore p of a dash intersection b dash which is equals to p of p of a union b the whole dash so what is p of a union b the whole dash now it is 1 minus p of a union B. So, now 1 minus P of A union B it is 7 by 9. So, we get 9 minus 7 it is 2, 2 by 9. Hence, the answer is the option D. So, this is all about the fifth question. Well, the next question it is a bag contains five red and three three blue balls if three balls are drawn at random without replacement the probability of getting exactly one red ball is the four options are 45 by 196 and then 135 divided by 192 and then 15 divided by 56 and then 15 divided by 29 so here overall there are 8 balls in the bag and then 5 red and 3 blue balls and if 3 balls are drawn at random without replacement. So, we have to get the uh, probability of getting exactly one red ball. So, here the required probability will be P of R B B that means in the first case it can be red and in the next case it can be uh, next two cases it can be blue balls. So, we, we should have only one red ball that is why I have taken R B B plus uh, another possibility can be B R B blue red blue and then the last possibility can be B B R. So, here P of R B B is nothing but P of R into P of B into P of B. So, what is P of R here that is red ball overall we have 8 balls. So, how many red balls now it is 5 by 8 into now we have already picked one red ball. So, he has given the condition without replacement that means there are 7 balls and how many blue balls now it is 3 by there are 3 blue balls hence it is 3 by 7 into one more blue ball. So, there are 6 balls and there are 2 balls left out now plus plus P of B overall 8 balls 
and then we have we have three blue balls then in the second uh, draw there will be seven balls and then it is five red balls then the third row we have six balls from that we have to pick a blue ball that is 2 by 6 plus now it is p of b so overall eight balls p of b means it is 3 by 8 into again blue ball so overall there are seven balls now and then it is 2 then then now we have to pick a red ball at the end that means we have six balls from that uh, we have five red balls so let us simplify this three into two it is six this six and six get cancels in all the cases three into two it is six and this six get cancels three into two six and this six get cancels so now five divided by how much we get 56 plus again five by 56 plus again 5 divided by 56 so this can be written as 3 times 5 by 56 3 times 5 by 56 and then 5 into 3 it is 15 divided by 56 so this is the required uh, probability of getting exactly one red ball so which is the right answer now it is option c well the seventh question it is a die is thrown and card is selected at random from a deck of 52 playing cards the probability of getting an even number on the die and a spade card is so we have two cases now one is throwing a die and getting an even number on the die and another one is uh, selecting a spade card from the 52 playing cards so here First, I will go for probability of getting an even number, getting an even number on die, on die, which is equals to overall we have six outcomes and even numbers will be three. So it is one by two. So now, now see here. Now I'll go for P of P of a spade card. P of a spade card. Probability of spade card which is equals to so overall we have 52 cards and in that 13 spade cards. So this becomes 1 by 4. Therefore, required probability which is equals to required probability required probability required probability which is equals to 1 by 2 probability of getting an even number on a die and probability of getting selecting a spade card and means multiplication here 1 by 2 into 1 by 4 will be 1 by 8 hence the answer is option C well the eighth question it is a flashlight has eight batteries out of which three are dead if two batteries are selected without replacement and tested the probability that both are dead is the first option it is 33 divided by 56 then second option it is 9 by 64 third option it is 1 by 14 fourth option it is 3 by 28 so here the required probability will be required probability required probability required probability which is equals to p of both uh, r dead that is p of d d which is equals to so see here 8 batteries out of which 3 are dead that means first one it is 3 by 8 3 by 8 into second one will be 2 by 7 because he has given it is without replacement so now 3 by 8 into 2 by 7 2 1s are 2 4 are so we get 3 divided by 28 so this is the required answer 
hence the correct answer is option d so this is all about eighth problem